in-depth on the housing market's impact on you. I'm joined tonight by Rogers Healy, the founder of Healy Property Management. He's also been recognized as the most influential leader in real estate by Luxury Home Magazine. Rogers, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. Yeah, first up here, we're still very much in the middle of a seller's market, and Zillow is predicting that's not going to change over the next year with the forecasted 11.7% growth in housing values. Could you share with us what makes this surge in housing uh, so unique from previous cycles? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's really what you just mentioned. It's millennials, and it's the fact that we have lived through you know, a, a bust a few years back, seven, eight, ten years ago, but now it, it's something completely different. And we have thousands and thousands of people every day turning 40, which means, you know, the ones that were a little bit late to the game for purchasing their first property are, are ready to come and do it. And it's not just in places like Atlanta or Dallas where we are. It's in middle America. It's in California. It's in Florida. It's in New York. So we've got an influx of buyers all across the country. So we're really seeing just a very enhanced version of supply and demand that whether it's going to last for five years or 15, there's really not an end in sight. You know, real estate is cyclical and it's seasonal, but we really don't see this thing slowing down anytime soon. Yeah, you got to be concerned about the millennials that waited for their bit, first big house purchase and now they're trying right. to find that uh, with the price is high and not as many houses. Uh, right. As Fortune Magazine said, Rogers, it's very difficult to predict and forecast the housing market. But do you think we're ever going to see a housing market crash, or is that idea of a boom-bust cycle a thing of the past? Well, I, I, look, I think you, you never say never at this point. We've all read enough you know, articles and watched enough movies, and I always tell people that work for me here in Dallas to watch the big short, and it'll, it'll humble you. Yeah, very quickly. yeah, yeah of course. I, I, I think right now we have to just, you know, be prepared for what the next generation's going to do. And so whatever they're called, Gen Z, uh, I think is, is their name, but, you know, the Instagram generation, the ones that maybe skip college and think they're going to be famous for, for posting a photo online, I think that's what is unpredictable at this point, but we really don't have any statistics, data, or gut feelings to, to think that we're going to have any kind of bust. And I think that, again, it's just a, a weird way to live, thinking that we really are in this really good position, and we have interest rates right around 3%, which are historic lows. We have, you know, 4 million houses short across the country in some places like Nashville, Dallas, Denver, et cetera, that's getting the influx of millennial movers every single day. We're experiencing it you know, um, to a different degree where we're living it. And it, it's not too good to be true because it's very, very real, but we really don't see a bust or even a, a true deflation any time in the near future, if ever. Yeah, and we've seen a number of iBuyers uh, take off. Those are the online companies like Open Door, Zillow, and Offerpad that use yeah. algorithms to buy and sell homes fast. Is this the new trend? Are traditional in-person realtors uh, kind of being phased out? Well, let's hope not. Yeah, I, no. I hope you're on TV next time talking about mustaches. But, you know, <laughs> I, I, I think the short answer is, is no. And, and with, you know, millions and millions of people that do what I do, we have 70,000 DFW and a few million nationwide. There's a reason that our industry has not been Netflixed. You know, and my first job was working at Blockbuster Video, and thankfully uh, here I am selling real estate. But I, I think that the iBuyer platform is really meant for the non-intimate platform of sales and residential real estate specifically even commercial is a very intimate relationship based industry and so when you remove that level of trust and the eye contact you really don't have much more to live off of so you know i, I think it's always interesting and people that are competitive people that are, you know like to be challenged like myself it's always interesting when a new type of product enters the market but you know the saying goes the strong survive and i think that that's going to stay true so talking about millennials, uh, speak to them. Where do they even start? It's not as simple as getting a loan and a down payment. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I think like anything in life, you got to manage your expectations. And, and being realistic in real estate, especially as a millennial, is crucial. And, and I think we've seen these trends change so drastically, even with COVID. Obviously, like the, the term is, it's the new normal. It really is the new normal. And real estate used to be dictated by location. And I think because of a generation of millennials, it's gonna be dictated by affordability. So, you know, do your due diligence, do your homework, get connected with someone who's gonna facilitate your loan, unless you're paying cash, which is fantastic. 
and, and just be prepared. And I think that the generation of millennials as a whole really don't consider themselves to be a very prepared generation. I'm, I'm 41 years old and I'm right at the, uh, the higher end of it. But, you know, I, I think being prepared and ready to strike, knowing that if you're in a hot city, a hot market, which is kind of anywhere right now, you're probably going to be looking at a property with someone knocking on the door wanting to see it right after you. So yeah. have a sense of urgency, be prepared, and realize that statistically you're not going to live in the property probably longer than three to five years. Yeah, we've seen the stories of bidding wars for houses and people waiting right. on the front to get in there. and it's, it's unique times. We appreciate your expertise and your time. Rogers Healy, thanks so much, Rogers. Thank you.